Just incredible. Just incredible, man. Just incredible. Run the thing, eh? Run it. Let's do it, man. Welcome to the Just Incredible podcast, man. Live from beautiful Los Angeles, California. Man, it's an honor and a privilege, man. I can't, you know, when you say Los Angeles, a name that is hand in hand with the city, is this brother I got to my left, man, Ty Dolla Sign. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the show, my going, man. man. Legend, legend. Thank you for being here, bro. I, I Thanks can't Thanks for help. having me. Yeah, Thanks man. For taking the time. Easy. You already know if we go back like the so beginning many of this years, shit. bro. Yep. It's a beautiful sure. thing to, to see how far things have come. Glad to see you still going, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Honestly, thanks to, you know, friends like yourself, I've had the opportunity to keep climbing because, you know, whether whether it's the music you're dropping off or, or a quick phone call or text, shit goes a long way. So I yeah. appreciate that, man. For sure, for sure. Love seeing everything you're doing, man. We just released this new song, Motion. Yeah. You're in your bag on motion, man. <laughs> like, I'm, I love it. I'm switching up the frequency, man. I'm not going to lie. It was intentional. Yeah. I keep on hearing all this music talking about what they're going to do to their ops when they see them and <laughs> all this negativity right, and man. seeing it trickle down to the, you know, real young kids and, and real life shit. And I'm like, man, it's, it's time for all that to stop. It's time to, like, take it back to the dance floor, take it back to some music for the women, yeah. you know, something to have fun to. It's about to be summertime. So I switched it up in that aspect and as far as the sound yeah. I feel like I want to do something different that I'm not hearing nobody out here doing I love that and uh, I was inspired by South Africa and what they got going on the sound called I'm a piano so bro, I keep hearing about I'm a piano right? it's crazy bro it's just a different vibe it's like house music but mixed with some other stuff you like, know what I'm saying? like on some like dance hall reggae vibe too kind of it's just mm. It's its own thing, for sure. You know, it's black folks, you know what I'm saying? It turned up to, <laughs> yeah. some, to some dance music, so I love it. And, Was uh, you out there and, like, actually witnessed the... I wasn't out there. I discovered it probably in London. Crazy. Or in Dubai. But I think it was probably London, though. Sick. And then just going around the world, just everybody... It's, it's, it's going to take over, you know? So I, I feel like I'm going to be the first one from over here to, like, right. dabble. And, and this one doesn't have the full I'm a piano vibe, like, where it could go. Mm -hmm. But I call this one dollar piano, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm going to have to hit you. Text me a couple links, though, to some of the vibes that... You. you know what I mean? Because I've been hearing so much about it. And you're that type of, like, generational artist that can really turn the corner like that. So yeah. I was happy when I heard this. You know, I know a lot of fans, they want the old tie or they want yeah. a specific sound from you, which, of course, you I'm know sure what I tell them, man? You know, that? the old tie is already out. Go to, go listen to it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's run up the streams. <laughs> run that up but on your I, I'm growing. Finances. I'm growing as a person. And I feel like when people say I'll never change, I don't change. That's the dumbest thing you can say. If you don't, then you're, you're stagnant and, and you're not living life. Right. I'm always trying to grow and get to the next level. And that's what my music is doing as well. No doubt. So you really been doing that since I met you, to be honest, because at that time, like L.A. didn't have a real spot. On at least on the radio, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you, YG, Mustard, Tiger. I mean, there's a list, yeah, um, a handful. But I, I feel like you've been defining moments since you dropped. Like, yeah. and shit ain't really been in a good way. Shit ain't been the same since you hit the scene, bro. That's crazy, man. Yeah, um, that's definitely intentional. Um, I respect any artist that's doing that. You know what I mean? That's taking a chance and like going for something different and shifting, you know, the culture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to shout out my little brother, Lil Uzi Vert, for mm -hmm. what he did with, like, I Don't Want to Rock, ah, right? Yeah, right. It's like something that we weren't hearing in the hip-hop. And then even when you look at the Jersey Club, it, it's different from all of that, too. Right. So it was like, I commend him for doing something like that. And that's kind of like what I'm doing. It's, it's completely different, but it's like, you know, I'm like... But in the sense of, uh, you know, going right when everyone's going yeah, left. Exactly. Like, it's right there. Exactly and it's, it's so necessary. Say. And I give you, you you the credit, too, man, for... And, and artists like... Like Uzi um, for taking those chances, man. Yeah, it's risky sure. when you're in those meetings and in those brainstorm sessions and you're like, nah, 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 this is what I want to go with. Yeah, and it's like walking in like I have the biggest confidence and nobody's, but nah, everybody felt this one easy, yeah. though, I swear to God. It's like first 15 seconds, everybody's like, nah, this is it. Yeah, no so doubt, no I doubt. I feel good about it. And, um, you're always working on music, so what what can the fans expect? Is this the, the preview to a mixtape, an album, uh, you know what I'm saying? What what can what can people expect from that? Um, 
that same two weeks I was making Motion, I made a whole bunch of other songs. Um, I'm not going to say they're the same lane. It's not uh, another dollar piano joint. Okay. There's like other vibes that are just all up tempo, feel good, make you feel good about yourself, make you want to dance, make you want to, you know, all grab your partner and, you know what I'm saying? That kind of music. Not like killing, killing ops music. Man, <laughs> that's refreshing to hear as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how do you juggle everything, man? Because you got your own music, you got your own artist, you got yeah. your own company, your family. Uh, yeah. I'm sure the request for the doing features never gets a shortage of that. Like, how do you really like prioritize all this it's shit? It's insane, man. Uh, you know, my daughter's graduating high school next week. Congrats, man. Uh, going to a university. Thank you. Uh, she got accepted to like 10 different universities. So beautiful. Uh, that's one thing I'm juggling. Then I got, like you said, my label, Easy Money Records. We got my artist, Leon Thomas, who's going crazy Shout right now. Leon Thomas. Yeah, yeah, he's killing it. His new song, Breaking Point. If you haven't heard it, make sure you go stream that. We got uh, this project that I'm doing. Well, like I just said, I'm yeah. going to put out an EP to go with that. I'm also working on my album. I'm also working on a tour. Sheesh, you know, look out for that tour. So that'll be coming up. Uh, also getting more into the TV space. Yeah. And, uh, you know, more and more good stuff coming, man. Good, man. Good, good. I'm happy to see you healthy. How do I juggle it? It's, I mean, you know, just balance. You got to just spend two hours here, spend two hours here, spend two hours here. But if you really want it, you know, you got to you gonna take have, of have, have motion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to, like, actually take that, that step forward to do it and not just talk about it. And and I'm sure at times you have to say no to certain things. That as well, man. You, you got to not have a problem saying no. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that crazy? Can you speak on that a little bit more? Because I think that's something that... Yeah. All good people, it's hard for people to say, I just can't right now. Yeah, it's hard because, you know, everybody's like, has expects this from you if they do that for you or if they've been hanging around you or that, they expect this. But it's like, yo, we're all humans. We all got it. Yeah. 24 hours in a day and I can only do this with this 24 hours. Yeah. So, you know, you're just going to have to understand this is not the time. Timing is everything. Yeah. And, you know. Hopefully you get yours one day. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hey, man, I got Ty Dallas down on the podcast. That's really another reason why I wanted to sit down with you, obviously, to speak about all the music, but also to, um, you know, get an audience a deeper dive into just, you know, what, what goes through the mind, what yeah. goes through your, your, your process, because, um, yeah, dog, like, we're all human. You're, you're human, and people are pulling all the time, family, um, friends. Every which one, way, man. Right? So um, I think that it's important for us to, to speak on things like that when we can. Yeah, for sure. How do you, how do you feel you as an artist, you know, from, from the Free TC album to the Beach House series, like where you're at right now, how do you feel the growth has where, where are you at yeah, with I'm it right now? I'm in a now? big place right now, and yeah. it feels good. And I put in the work, and now I could just do what I want. And... And also, I'm in a place where I could pass it down to the next, yeah. you know, so I'm focusing on Leon. And uh, I'm also looking for other artists to sign to Easy Money Records, but you got to be the greatest artist in the world Come in order for me to ethic. fuck with you. With that work ethic. Yeah, with the worth ethic, you got to be easy lifting. I can't have to tell you everything to do. You got to be telling me new shit. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come like, on. Speak it. So. Who's uh, someone that's giving you some great advice along the way? Uh, Even about the stuff we just spoke about. Shit, Wiz Khalifa, man. Wiz Khalifa the GOAT. Yeah, shout to Wiz, man. Um, he basically coached me through the whole shit, man. Mm -hmm. um, one of the first things he told me was think of it like fucking Ronald McDonald or Bart Simpson, right? Like, <laughs> they could dress up however, they could do all this shit, but it's always going to look like, you know, Ronald McDonald is always going to look like fucking Bart Simpson, no matter how you put it. So, like, at the when he first came out, he was doing the cargo shorts with the, you know, the, the, and shit the, like that. Yeah, all that, the chucks with oh, the, the chucks, socks right, and da 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 And then I created my character, the Vans with the cut-off pants right. with the dangling earring. And people used to laugh at the dangling earring. And then now all the A little rappers of, got on the yeah. dangling earring. And, <laughs> you know, my whole little swag I had to come up with. So that was one of the things, and, you know, uh, 
many other I'm sure. things he taught me down the way. But, gems, gems. Yeah. All right, I got some fan questions for you because you know I went to Twitter. I told everybody you was coming by the show. Hell yeah. Uh, so these are some good ones here. Uh, what's the furthest you've ever traveled for a sneaky link, Ty? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Argentina. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If you got to go somewhere, that's a good spot to go. My boy went out to Argentina for the for the down low. <laughs> Hopped on a plane? Of course. I couldn't get there by foot. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was lit. Worth it? Worth it for sure. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, you're stranded on an island, Ty. You can only take three things with you. Yeah. Three things. That's all that could come with you. What you bringing, man? Standing on the island, I only get three things. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to take some seeds <laughs> to grow some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some relaxation. I'm going to take, uh, fuck, this is a hard three, bro. Tough one, huh? Yeah. Uh, probably just a laptop and a speaker. And then from there, I can figure it out. I could record through the laptop somehow. I'll figure it out, you know? Yeah, uh, I definitely got to have my recording tools. You got to... Something to uh, relax, too. No doubt. No doubt. You've got uh, Miami-Denver in the finals. NBA starts tonight. Sheesh. Fuck, man. You got any predictions? Uh, I'm not, like, an expert at this, but I have a feeling that... Denver's going to win, even though I don't want to say that because what they just did to the Lakers. I'm the same way, bro. I'm but the same way. I think that they're going to win against Miami, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of love for Miami. I'm sure you had a lot of fun in I do. In Miami. I love Miami. But I'm just being real with, from what I saw I'm with the, the players. I'm on the same way, right, you know? brother. Motion's the new song. Make sure y'all running the streams up. Run it up. Uh, what could you not live without for one month? For one month, without? what I couldn't live with, I, like music, just hearing music, just some something to do with music. If I couldn't hear music, I'd be making it on a chair or whatever the fuck I'm around. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I'm one of those real music heads where I carry around a fucking JBL speaker, um, Bluetooth or whatever, because right. I just got to hear music everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. It at, is it like that at the house, too? It's like that at the house, too. I, I got my, my Sonos system. It's music in every room. Music outside, yeah. everywhere. <laughs> what age did you realize you were really like born to do this? Like this is your calling. Um, from a very young age, like four, I was fucking. When I was four, my pops was MDing for I believe Jermaine Jackson at the time. Wow! And he uh, was putting together his set, and. I fucking heard him playing some shit and he went to the bathroom and I went to the keyboard and just played the shit by heart and that's when he told me he knew that I was going to be into the shit because I just played by ear. Wow. But um, for me, I would say when I was like 10, that's when I knew I really wanted to do it. Sick, man. Yeah. What a great story. What a great story. All right, man, this is a good one. You can invite one person to a party, all right? One, one celebrity friend to a party. Mm-hmm. If they're late, you get a million dollars. Which friend are you inviting? Sid, YG. <laughs> <laughs> Does he be on that Compton time? Uh, yeah, he gonna be on that Compton time for sure. <laughs> but I think I could have named any artist and they're not gonna come. Like if the party is from fucking, say nine until two in the morning, <laughs> niggas is not coming until 12, 30, one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just so you could show up at the right time when it's already lit. Right, 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 you know right. I mean? Maybe I should have said like a dinner function. Yeah, like dinner for sure. Well, shit, I was late last time. They'd probably get a million dollars <laughs> a day for me. A million dollars if you invite Ty Dolla Sign to the party. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, man, I'm hearing rumors about you and Mustard got a collab album. Yeah, we were working on it. We dropped that, my friends, and we were planning to drop the album right after that. But as soon as I thought the album was going to be done, he came in. Nah, we got to put this on the album. Mm. Oh, nah, let's use this one that we just did for this album for my album. Uh, uh, you know, Back all that kind of yeah. shit. And, and, and like, even me, I was doing the same shit. Like, he'll say it's done, and then I come with another one. And we want to make sure when we drop, 
it's like the best shit on the planet. Has to be. You know? Has to be. It's been a long time coming. We've been talking about it for years, so um, it's still going to drop. We're definitely still, you know, working on it. I see uh, YG and Tyga have, you know, took after their brothers, and they're making a collab I see album. That. I see you that. Know? Yeah. I even got a call the other day from YG and Tyga because Wiz has been promoting me and Wiz's new single that has the sample from Cameo in it. Okay. Uh, also, Tupac sampled it. That's right. And they played me their album, and they got the same sample. Word. You know what I'm saying? So like, they're like, how are we supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm like, let's just drop it all at the same time and, and may the best musician win. <laughs> you heard <laughs> it good. here first, baby. I love that too, man, because, you know, these are these are moments, you know, even as a as a DJ that I'm excited about, man. Yeah, you give us them them tracks because y'all could definitely play them back to back. Right, you know? right, right. It's gonna be good, man. So you got that to look forward to. Uh, Motion is out right now. This is a must run up, and yeah. and y'all, I've been just watching the comments, man. Everybody's loving it, bro. Wow, that's crazy. Everybody's loving it. It's crazy. You've man. worked with so many artists too, man. So many artists, bro. Do you do you ever take time to reflect? I know we're always thinking forward, but do you ever, like, think about, damn, man? Yeah, like, uh, sometimes I'll just reminisce on, like, dope settings. Probably, like, some of the best settings ever were, of course, working with Kanye. Like, the last time we worked together on this uh, Donda album, he had niggas in Mexico <laughs> recording, like, overlooking the whole ocean just the speakers this, the mic everything right there no vocal booth just like taught me a whole new way to you know make music you know what i'm saying like you don't have to do the you know the, the basic or the right just the obvious studio yeah. session and the so i've been on that lately just having more fun with the music and uh there's definitely other artists uh working with tyler yeah I who's just talk his to mind you. is just crazy and just seeing how he does his whole thing, it, it was it was crazy. I'm excited for that that camp vlog now coming up too. Come on, that looks crazy, yeah. man. At Dodger Stadium. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. Hopefully, I'm in town that day, man. Come on, hopefully you're on that stage. Really, man. that too. You know? <laughs> Ty Dolla Sign is here. Ty, if all your exes got together, right? All your exes linked yeah. up, right? What's one thing they would all agree on about you? Um. They would agree that I fucking do everything for them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, they would all agree that they let it slide. They let the bag get away. Uh, and I'm sure they would all have to agree now, which they didn't know in the beginning, that I am the one. You are the zero. Together we are 10. Without me, you are a zero. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> it's a real player shit, man. <laughs> Hello. My boy came and choose or lose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Ty Dollar Signs here on the Just Incredible Podcast. Ty, if you could put together a big three of R&B artists, mm -hmm. who's on your big three? Uh, big three of Inspirational, R &B. motivational, killing the clubs, killing the radio. Uh, you know, just, you know, the perfect puzzle. Well, uh, top R&B of all time. We talking about all time or we talking about more, more recent? Damn. Or? Cause, cause, cause that's crazy for me. I got twenty, like, Quick. like you could just run off, huh? Stevie Wonder is my favorite of all time. Love it. Uh, the unmentionable, he's one of my favorites of all right. time. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, okay. we can't take that part away. That. I respect that. Uh, and um, right now, favorite male vocalist right now, this dude Avery Wilson. Avery Wilson. He's, Nobody can fuck with Avery. Crazy. Besides, like, Leon and, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but then so, Avery Cole. Mm, yeah. I got to look into that. Yeah. Would your... Okay, so how about big three of right now, other than who you just mentioned, but put yourself in there as one. So who's another two that you could team up with? Uh, of this time right now... Right now. I would say uh, me, Chris Brown, and the other third... Who I'm going to give it to, goddamn. Mm. Mm. I'm going to give it to another L.A. nigga that I love, my young nigga Blast. Let's go. Facts. That's what's up. Yeah. Wow. I would love to hear that song, man. Hell yeah. Let's talk about Chosen since you brought up Blast. Yeah. That was so dope to see because that was at a time where, 
you know, it's crazy to say, you know, but people were saying, you know, Blast feels like the new, you know, tie in a mm. sense. You know, I remember when we first heard you, it was like a lot of Nate Dog comparisons, right? Yeah. Um, you know, but to see you get on there and go crazy on Chosen with him, put yeah. your arm around him like that, like just talk to me about that moment a little bit. I've been knowing Blast since he was a kid. Mm. Like uh, just seeing his whole come up. come up and the fact that he stayed down. He used to be in a group. It was it, it reminded me of my exact shit. Mm. I used to be in a duo, and that shit. The other homie ended up doing some other shit, mm -hmm. and I kept on going. And I saw the same exact thing happen with him. Yeah. And I was like, okay, nigga, that's what you were supposed to do. You kept going. Whatever you doing, I'm supporting. Love it. And uh, it's it's dope. Love Seeing it. Seeing what he's doing, he's killing it. Love it, man. Is there a any features that you'd like to be part of? Like anyone who's on your collab wish list? Uh, I haven't worked with Lil Baby yet, which I would love to work with Lil Baby. Um, who else? Uh, like some of the newer, like Nardo Wick, like Ice Spice, like... Yes. Uh, I got a I got a tweet because I asked that question and someone brought up Ice Spice. Would yeah. love to see a collab between you and Ice Spice. Yeah. She's going to the moon right now. Just did a remix with Taylor Swift. Yeah, got you know all kind you know Nicki on tracks. Like she's really having a big year. She's working. Yeah, she's working. You know that grind. You know yeah, that come sure, up for sure. Is there a is there a feature price for for Ty Dolla Sign? Can people like really put a dollar dollar amount on dollar? It depends who we talking to. It depends like what their situation is and what I could bring to the table mm -hmm. for it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. we got to weigh all those things. But you do take it into consideration. Yeah, for sure. You do take that. Because I've seen you do collaborations and, you know, records go to the moon for people that just felt so organic. Yeah. You know? Um, so I wanted to ask you that question because I'm sure people... Man, you just did... Where are we at with the Post Malone? Did you just go to a billion streams or something like that? Yeah, billion, billion, billion streams, streams, man. Billion streams, man. Billion YouTube's, billion Spotify's, billion everything, you know? So Congrats, bro. God is great, man. I love it, man. I love it. You inspired me recently. Didn't even know it, but I think it was like at your birthday party. I seen the EXO crew like gave you a picture of yourself on stage. Yeah. Was it Coachella or... It looked like it's just some festival, though. I don't remember. It might have been a Rolling Loud. One of them was oh, Rolling, Rolling Loud, Loud for okay. sure. And the other one, I couldn't remember what show it was from. Beautiful, though. But Beautiful yeah, moment. for sure, man. Yeah, I did the same thing, though. I had a great picture. I said I took it. I literally showed yours at the at the spot. Yeah. And I was like, uh, you know, just timeless moments. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But uh, really proud of you, bro. I, really proud thank of your you, journey, man. Bro. I'm, I'm proud of you as well. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want to be like just incredible. Hmm, they want to be like Ty Dolla Sign. But guess what? They they're not down to get up at, you know, three in the morning sure. and uh, work until eight a.m. the next day and really, you know, have big motion. And that's what we're doing this whole summer. Big that's motion. what we're doing for the rest of our lives. We having big motion and and we inspire. We're inspiring the next generation to have big motion as well. That's you know right. What I'm that's right. My brother Ty Dolla Sign is here on the Just Incredible podcast. Run up that new song. Motion is going crazy. You're gonna hear it all on the radio, all in the clubs. Pussy. Run that up, man. <laughs> And it's definitely a breath of fresh air. Y'all going to love it. And on the way, you know, he, he touched on we might get, you know, an EP on the way. That seems to be dropping. He's working on an album, a collab with Mustard. Mm -hmm. Touring's coming. So Touring's coming. My brother, thank you for even taking the time to come sit with me today, bro. Anytime. Thank you for having me, bro. Always love. Always yes, love. Ty Dolla Sign is here. For more content just like this, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. My boy might even be in the comments, you know what I'm saying, having a having, having a chat with y'all. So, come on, let's do it. Yeah, man. Ty Dolla Sign, just incredible from Los Angeles, man. Peace and love. Justin, Justin, just incredible. Hey, yo, just incredible. You don't know, eh? Keep winning. Winning. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you to everyone who watched this podcast. The music you're hearing, that's provided by LA's own The Eastie Boys. If you enjoyed watching this, please hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, and while you're there, tap that subscribe button so you can subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. There's more content just like this, and trust me, a lot more on the way. To keep up with me off of YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Justin underscore credible or my TikTok. You can just search Watch Just Incredible. Thank you so much for watching.